everybody welcome back to the channel it is gold hunter 77 so glad you could join me i am back baby back on the river and i'm so happy to be here and see how much gold we can get in three hours let's go oh yeah i almost forgot i got this three foot pry bar here like a small breaker bar so i might go back to that damn rock that I couldn't get last time and see if this bad boy i'll get her out of there partner this thing is a monster i don't know how much it weighs but what i'm doing is uh i'll pry it up a little bit and then plant some rocks in here to keep it wedged like that so i may not get this out but damn it i'm trying oh man damn plants right in the way ah oh boy I don't know which way to go with it maybe I can use my feet and kick it out nope <laughs> oh shoot yeah like this dirt here trapped between this boulder and this bedrock I, I think this is bedrock maybe it's hard to tell but you know if this has been worked, it's been a long time, I'll tell you that. And this is going to be one of my better chances to find bigger gold right here. All right, so there was some gold there. There's one piece. That's a small flake. There's another one that appears to be right here. There you go. So there's two that I can see. But I'd like to see more than that. You know, that's just what I can see. I'm sure there's more hiding. Um, I think it's a good spot. I'm gonna keep working it for now. We'll do a couple buckets out of there. Well, unfortunately, I was not seeing very much gold. It just goes to show the spots that look good sometimes aren't that great. You know, honestly, I don't work around boulders very often just because they've been worked so hard. I had higher hopes. I see a couple flakes, but I need to be into that, you know, 10, 20, 30 flakes per bucket to make this work. Try another spot here and see what we get. All right, so I'm, I'm moving back here. Slew set up here. Again, right about here in this area. Uh, last year I pulled almost a gram. It was one of my better pulls. The water was a little bit lower. I've already ran some of this material. There is some gold. I think I'm just gonna try running the rest of this. See what's in this and maybe some of this through here too. But yeah, I know this whole swath through here is all good. And I mean, the gold line shoots all the way through here. I'll tell you something else, really good about this spot that I'm working right there. Obviously my sluice box is right here. So, I mean, you can't beat a five foot pack. I mean, all that material, I can move that all very quickly, short pack. I know there's gold in there. Let's run it, baby. Yeah, baby glad I moved I'm on consistent gold now I got pieces all through here I know it's not picking up that well look there's even one up in here boom I mean I'm seeing at least 10 pieces at least through here and that's what you got to do you got to move around you know if you're in a spot where you're getting one or two flakes a bucket or five flakes you really want to stay there all day and grind it out? Not me. I jump around a lot and usually it pays off. So glad I moved, got away from that boulder situation. Now the gold's picking up. All right, I got our 
first good sized flake there today. Not a picker, but man, it's a good flake. So all that moving around finally paid off. Well, all right, finally started getting back on the gold using my brains. I remember that rusty area I was in, that uh, highly oxidized, mineralized spot I was in. And uh, check out some of these signs that were telling me it's a good spot. Well, there's a hunk of lead, and then you start running these black rocks like hematite, magnetite, with pyrite bands. That's all good signs, super heavies. And I should have went back here. I don't know what I was thinking. I've hit like five, six different spots, but it's all getting rusty back down in there. So I'm gonna follow that streak and just work it to death. I got about an hour left, so hopefully I can get some buckets through. Also, when I did that dowsing video, this is exactly where they're pulling together real strong. And I couldn't believe it, but I was maybe off a little bit. I was right here, but this area is highly oxidized, mineralized, and there's more gold here. So I don't know about them dowsing rods. There might be something to it. Ooh, man, that spot I'm in is the business right there, partner. I tell you, it's hot gold, hot, hot, hot gold. But the problem is I'm running out of time. I didn't find it till the end of the trip, damn it. That's the way she goes. Let's let's have a look at the indicator mat here. Now it can be hard to see sometimes, but it is just lit up. There is gold all through there now. All right, well. That was a good trip, you know, I saved it at the end and uh, pretty damn impressed there at the end. I wish I could stay longer, but I have things I gotta do that I'd love to do. My nephew is having his graduation party, so that's really cool. Hi Troy, if you ever watch this, super proud of you, buddy. We'll see you soon. And for the viewers out there, we'll see you soon back when we weigh this gold up, baby. All right, made it back to the house and we're about ready to unwrap the golden package. Take a look at that. Look at all that gold inside that cling wrap, baby. <laughs> I'm I'm guessing for about another quarter gram, man. That last that last hour really saved the trip. Um, and there's a nice little piece down in here, thick one. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm hoping for a quarter gram here. Look at all my cool stickers, man. I'm getting new stickers. Love all these stickers, man. They're so cool. Okay. Make sure we're turning around and get them all. There's room for more. All right. That's what's left. A little bit in the pan there. We'll get this baby pan down and see what we got. Oh, that ain't too bad. Look at that bit right there, man. That's like a little micro nugget. <laughs> that is nice. That's a thick, rugged piece. How cool is that? Of course, all the other gold. I didn't realize this phone could zoom this good. That is a lot of, a lot of small flake. Nice, nice Oregon River gold. Here we go. Wow. 0.27. So once again, we are right in that quarter gram range. You know, no complaints. I mean, I would like to get more and I will when I start sniping, but that is some nice stuff, baby. That is some beautiful gold. I'm loving this close-up feature with this iPhone. I had no idea it could zoom this well. That is some pretty, pretty AU. Wow, and that micro nugget. Nice stuff. I'll take it. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it. Hope you had fun, man. I really enjoyed myself up there, as always. It's a great spot. Like, I can always count on getting at least a quarter gram, if not a half gram, if not a gram or two sometimes. You know, if you get lucky, you just got to hit the right spot. I was starting to get worried until I found that rusty oxidized layer. If you're out there, look for those oxidized layers, man. They're always holding, it seems like. They're great. This time it paid off. Got that quarter gram, baby. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Love all you guys. Till next time.